Oh. Yeah, divorce. I'm sorry, Just did I right say that? You have to be in love with the person they are. You can't take away their respect because you now want them to be different. That's crime in my book. My line, a terrible line that I really do have, is people know exactly why they're going to get divorced while they're walking down the aisle. Wow. There is no accident about that 50, 60 percent. And trust me, I've sat enough at the moment that that woman and that man know it as they're walking down the aisle. Oh, it's in there. They're like hoping, they're hoping. What are they hoping for? The deal from the get-go. Everyone needs to own what they wish was true about their relationship and the truth about their relationship. So much of what we're doing is teasing out the 12 areas of life to really get the person to tell the truth and the other person to own, I'm never doing this, I am doing this. Right, they all have their desires, they all have everything they want. But the mistake the human makes is they think that it's um, actually divided up 100% versus 300%, okay? So your head should get everything it wants, your heart should get everything it wants, and your hoo-ha should get everything it wants. But what happens is, is someone will make a bargain where their heart got everything. He's the nicest guy in the whole wide world. Oh my God, he's so smart. I don't wanna fuck him, right? <laughs> but I should, I should, I wish I did. Right? How long does that last? About six years after two kids. Take the cash and go, girl. And then you're not happy after. So instead of people really dealing with the truth about everything they want and being able to talk about it fully and make a real match, like the love of their life, doesn't mean there's no compromises. Teased out what their head wants, what their heart wants, and what their hoo-ha wants, and how they really want it. And then they end up compromised. So does the other person, and they've never had all those conversations, and then they've never negotiated a real fair spiritual contract between the two of them with their deal breakers. Most people are just embarrassed at how much they care about things they don't want to care about. Like what? Like no one wants to, the, the hoo-ha barely wants to admit vanity. Like, yeah, she needs big tits. <laughs> you know, if you're in love with the person you're with, right, like your job is to stay in love with who you're with, right? And like they're not, especially, you know, they're not changing that much, right? Now, if they radically change, right, and then you didn't sign up for that change, you really are gonna have problems. I'm, I guess I'm dangerous because I don't have a problem with divorce. I think it's okay people get over each other. So that's maybe crazy for people. My joke with my husband, we made a vow when we got married that if we're not still in love, if we don't still wanna do each other, if we're not having the best time of our lives, we'll get divorced, right? Like I that was actually your vow. A vow. I believe in divorce. Because <laughs> I really believe in love. And I'd rather have love my whole life than pretend I have to be a good person that stays selves so they don't repeat mistakes.